Hey Johnny, I just wanted to tell you a little about this. It's a 1960 Bond. It's from England. Uh, it's a three-wheel car stock. It came like that. It was a motor. It has a motorcycle engine stock. This is a Villiers Norton engine. Shifts just like a motorcycle. One up, three down. This is a four-speed. It has no reverse. And the reason it has no reverse is when you're in England, if you're in England and you're 14 years old, it's considered a motorcycle. So you could get one of these and drive early so you could go to work or do whatever you do. A uh, fairly reliable car. I'm not sure how many they made, but they did make them from 1949 to 1966. So I would say, I'm, I would be guessing, but I'm sure they made it. I think I read 24,000, but don't quote me on that. Nice running little car and uh, it weighs 600 pounds. It's only three wheels. Yep. BNT Classic Car Emporium, Venice, Florida. James, Johnny, thanks for coming over. Thank We're going to start with a Dewaljack, Michigan via California car. Doesn't matter. So that's a 1958. That's going to market soon. Mm -hmm. It's time to thin the herd out a little bit. Okay. Because wow. behind. So if anybody's you, interested, hit us up. Yeah. We'll just, put you uh, in touch with Tom. That, that, that's e go. It's easy. It's going to be. Uh, it's going to be north of 12. I'm going to ask retail for it because you got go. so much time and energy into it. And if you're going to buy a classic car, buy one that's already done because they're a pain in the butt. Moving along, this was a college graduation present. 1994 Cutlass Supreme, uh, 36,000 actual miles. Wow. My wife Renee, which is right over here, she's come over here, we're gonna introduce you, Renee. She told me I could buy this if I graduated from college, which I did. So I did that. That, by the way, that's the bond, that's the top of the bond car, the little red car that, that James wouldn't sit in. <laughs> I sold a Model A one time about 10 or 12 years back and I took that money and found this one from Colorado but it was in Lansing underneath a cherry tree, Lansing, Michigan, underneath a cherry tree with bird poop all over it. What well, use the El Camino? Yeah, and I told the lady that that paint was way too nice for bird, bird poop. Well, she ended up selling it to me and I've since been, me and Brian's been polishing it, doing some mechanical work, new brakes, new everything else. The engine, if you want to see, I'm not done with it, but we, we paint engines around here. So that's uh, that's, Wait, that's what is all this. What year is this one? Uh, that's a '64. '64. It has a 350 Camaro engine in it. I thought, you know what? The price was uh, quite a good value. Got gauges, billet steering wheel. That's a that was probably a custom paint job, 10, 12 years ago. It's kind of a burgundy metal flight. In the 60s, burgundy was a popular color. Uh, 
Over at the other garage, uh, Johnny had taken some uh, extensive pictures on a two-tone green pre-war Crosley. Crosley's made in Marion, Indiana. Uh, they made probably 9,000 units from 1940 to 1952. This is a post-war Crosley. It's been a little customized because uh, it's all stock, but everything's been upgraded on it. Uh, the paint uh, doesn't have stock Crosley seats. Uh, the dashboard is completely new. I'll let Johnny back here so he can have a shot at that. Everything's new on the car. Ted Della Camera from uh, Yankee Crosley restored this one. I bought it completely restored. All I do is clean it and make sure it runs. Uh, 